Hello there, YouTube. On this cold, foggy Wednesday morning. It is uh, February 26th today. And, uh, well, I'm riding the spider to work. So, I don't have a whole lot of time here to take back roads. I'm just going to take this one little jaunt on the freeway and go to work but I thought I'd bring up a little uh, a little topic because I don't know for some reason I, I seem to get this nobody's outright said anything but this kind of negative overtone towards uh, Can-Am spiders and uh, and I'm sure you know from the surface these things look so different course they got one too many wheels as a true motorcyclist would uh would think and I have to say I probably thought the same thing when we first took these things on some years back and uh anyway uh I thought from a, a guy who's been riding motorcycles for 42 years and and uh suddenly this this new invention comes about we'll talk about what it's like to ride one of these things um, a lot of people don't you know don't consider them a motorcycle and it's almost like they consider them a uh, you know something for the elderly or the you know disabled and in, in whatever form that may take but uh, true they are very popular uh, among that crowd for obvious reasons you know the stability the safety because these things you know they have safety controls on them they're just like a modern automobile you know I, I even have people going oh you know I'd be afraid I'd flip one over you're not gonna flip a spider over it's uh if you guys have ever flown a uh, those little, uh, the little remote control quadcopters with the gyros and stuff, they, uh, it's kind of similar to that. They're always wanting to right themselves. But, uh, as you're riding it, it doesn't do anything weird. You never, you never feel any kind of an unsafe feeling in a turn. In fact, if you just rail one into a turn and, you know, you do get it to sliding, you feel all the safety controls kick in, you know, traction control, vehicle stability, and um, it, it basically just kind of mutes the power is the feeling. It's like it, it got toned way down all of a sudden. But uh, yeah, you never, never feel this unsafe feeling whatsoever. And as far as riding it, um, you know, if you, if you guys have been around motorcycles, quads, and snowmobiles, and I mean, it's like second nature to ride it. It's uh, your first reaction when you sit on it is you feel like you're sitting on a motorcycle. You know, obviously you see the two front wheels in front of you, but uh, when you first time you go into a turn, you're expecting it to lean into the turn like a motorcycle. Well, it kind of goes into the turn similar to what a uh, what a quad would go into a turn. And uh, for, I don't know, maybe the first five or ten miles, that that seems a little odd to you. But like I say, you get used to it almost almost immediately. It's, it's like second nature to ride it. But once you're bombing along, you forget that you're on a three-wheeler. If you get a little too fast into a turn, the uh, handling characteristics are different enough that you know it'll remind you, hey, I'm not on a motorcycle. But it doesn't do anything, uh, anything odd. In, in fact, my my biggest concern for people riding them is they feel so safe. You know, I, I wonder if people don't think they're in some kind of a safety blanket and are free to just go buck wily on them. With everything, there's a, I'm sure there's a limitation to how far you can push one of these things. But, uh, hey, it's just like riding a motorcycle. 
I literally consider it, I guess the definition of motorcycle, I can't say that, but I consider it a bike. Just like any other form of bike, it's just a little different. It's like no different, it's about the, the difference between, you know, jumping from a cruiser to a, to a, you know, a full sport bike or something. That, you know, they handle different, they run different, they, there's different characteristics. You ride them a little different. Well, it's about that level of difference between riding a motorcycle and a spider. It's like nothing. Now this is the, the the big one, the RT, the Roadster Tour. So uh, you know this one's this one's like riding a Goldwing, or you know maybe you're full dressed Harley. You know it's kind of like riding a dresser. You know it's big, it's comfortable. You got all the creature comforts. You know you you're riding here in the. You know you're all you get going down the freeway and it's raining hardly anything hits you it's a uh, it's quite nice and uh, but they make sport versions too that are uh, you know pretty aggressive uh, seating and foot peg position too the uh, the rs the roadster sport and then there's an in between which is called the st which stands for uh, sport touring and uh, it's it's mostly based on the RS, the uh, Roadster Sport platform, but it's got a, it's it's like an in-between. Your you know, handlebars and foot pegs or floorboards, whatever version it may be, are kind of halfway between the RS and the RT. Maybe maybe a little more towards the RT. It's uh it's sporty, but yet you know a relaxed seating position. Get a little more wind protection and, and uh, quite a quite a few more creature comforts, you know, like stereo and all all them kind of good things. So there's a variety of them. Anyway, riding one of these is like riding a motorcycle. Um, obviously, uh, you're not going to be able to do lane splitting if you if you live in a country or a state that allows that. I guess you could lane split. I've, I've seen some touring bikes that were almost as wide as this. Well, I wouldn't lane split with them either, but um, it's not legal up here where I live, so it's not even something that crosses my mind. But uh, anyway, if you guys have any questions about how they handle or, you know, differences between them and a motorcycle or differences between the, the different models that can and makes, Leave a comment below. I'd love to talk to you about them. These things are really awesome. This is a, you know, a, a segment in the motorcycle industry that is growing like crazy. If you have any questions, get that little comment box down there and type away. If you like this, give her a little thumbs up. If you don't, there is a thumbs down thing there. You know, everybody's got an opinion. And uh, if you haven't done so, subscribe. Uh, there'll be more spider stuff. There'll be more. Geez, if you look at my channel, I, I don't I don't focus on one thing. I'm I'm kind of a gypsy that way. I, I bounce around from all kinds of different topics. If it's something I like, I'll throw it up on a video. Some of them never get looked at. <laughs> Some of them, a lot of people like. So I don't care. It's what I enjoy. And uh, if you like my weird stuff, hit the subscribe button. I'm always, always doing something. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I told you I was just going to go down the back roads, and I spent 17 minutes. And uh, a lot of that was on the freeway. So, anyway, thanks for hanging around. Take care now. Talk to you later.